hello friends welcome back to a new video in selenium tips and tricks series in this video we can learn how to upload a particular file of any type to our uh, application under the test when you upload a file you should be taking care of some things mainly when you take the xpath or uh, any other locator of that uh, particular web element that is upload file button that is the main thing that you should be taking care of and also uh, we know we can upload the file uh, using uh, the third party tools as well right apart from Sel selenium also supports but even without using selenium using some third party tools we can upload the files like auto it or uh, robot class and all right so if you have ever tried with the robot class to upload a file you will be facing issues when your script is built in Jenkins right the file would be uploaded successfully in your local system but when you run it in the Jenkins it won't get uploaded and it will show you it will uh, make your test fail because uh, the in the robot class and all what it is doing it will open up the fi windows file upload pop-up window it will give the path of the file and it will upload the file into your website but when you run your script in Jenkins it is running in the headless mode right so in that case it will fail so you will not be able to use the robot class method of uploading the files in Jenkins okay so the solution is in this video only with selena we can upload the file only using the selenium send keys method also while using send keys method you should be taking care of a few things so let's discuss that in this video So I'm taking a sample website for uh, testing purpose. Uh, I love PDF.com. So I'm giving that URL in our uh, class. Driver dot get off this URL, and we are maximizing the window. Okay, and I've created the. Now we can write the function to upload the file into the site. So I'm writing the function in the app class. We can write public void upload file and as i mentioned we can upload the file using the send keys method in selenium so we can pass the absolute path of the file to this particular upload button okay so here the upload button is select jpg images right so to this particular button we can pass our send key so it will automatically get uploaded so let's inspect this uh, uh, element first select jpg images so it has something like okay add more files we'll take this x path right add more files and write the we can write the x path okay, let me replace this existing one and let me give some name that is button upload and now we can send the keys to button upload that is send keys and inside that we should pass the absolute path of the file so here actually i have saved the one of the file a jpg file uh, in our src main resources structure okay so we need to pass the absolute path of this particular file now so let me give that so this is our absolute uh, path that is he uses public my workspace learn selenium ssc main resources java white dot jpg okay now we need to call this particular function in our file upload so if we have already created the object of this class so using the object reference now we can call this function right now before calling this function let's just wait for this upload file button or for now what we can do we can give a thread dot sleep okay I'm just giving thread dot sleep instead you can wait we can use the web driver wait method to wait for this particular element okay and let's run it now we should throw the declaration okay let's run it Mm 
we are not seeing any image gets uploaded but the count passes is one right past count is one but there is no image is uploaded failures is zero so what is actually happening we uh, the test is passed but we could not see any file is getting uploaded so this is where you need to be taking care of when you select the x path of the web element or when you select the web element so what is the issue is when you inspect the web element you always have to look for the input tag not any other tag you will be uh, getting many other tags present in this elements which is even highlighting the same web element but you should be looking for the input tag only okay but we cannot search for the input tag like that because it, it will this dom will have many input tags right no uh, it has only two tags so it is very easy so which input tag we should be looking for input tag having the attribute type is equal to file so this is the uh, x path or uh, the html element we should be looking for so this uh, we can take it type equal to file input type is equal to file see now it is again uh, highlighting the same uh, element only but this time our test should work so this is the main thing that you should be taking care of you should be looking for the input tag having the attribute type is equal to file okay so you can directly give this xpath in your uh, code even you can confirm it by searching it here okay so if you give the xpath like this it should be highlighting the uh, upload image button in your application so now what we can do we can replace our xpath with this particular xpath now we'll run it and this time our file should be uploaded see the file is got uploaded now right automatically so this is the main thing that you should be taking care of if your xpath is wrong even if the xpath is highlighting the upload button it it, it test will show count as pass is equal to one and you will never add you will never able to identify what is causing the issue always make sure that you are choosing the input tag having the attribute type equal to file okay and next thing is here we have actually hard coded our uh, absolute path right so this is not actually recommended in our script so we should be uh, writing uh, some dynamic path or uh, uh, we should not be using this hard coded path for that what we can do we can uh, find out the absolute path of a particular file using the uh, java function get absolute path okay for that what we can use for that let me write uh, some let me define some string string absolute path equal to you can say new file of and so these path might be different for different different people right if your code is in a common public repository but from this it should be same src main resources java py.jpg and that you can give it here and let me just import it you should import from the java.io package and now we can give get absolute path function now instead of this we can directly give absolute path so if you are trying to print out the absolute path we should get the same value okay and let's print out and see what we're getting okay you need to remove this slash otherwise you will get relative path only to get absolute path it should start from src only and now let's run it okay the file got uploaded and even you can see the absolute path printed in our 
console she uses public my workspace okay so i hope you have uh, liked this logic the way of uploading the file so you don't have to go with any uh, third party tool robber class auto it anything like that you can directly use selenium send keys function it should work both in your uh, local system and also on the jenkins okay so if you have liked this video please click the like button also if you are watching my channel without subscribing please do consider subscribing it and please keep supporting thanks for watching bye thank you